representing Loyola on such a big stage, Loyola Athletics, um, our school gained a lot of recognition. Um, now, it's, it's, it was a lot of pride for me in that moment. This is what I represent. This is the school I go to. Not only is it the school I go to, it's the city that I'm from. It was personal for me, and I love, I love representing the school. A lot of publicity we got last year was that we're, we're doing everything the right way. Like we recruit the right way, we have the right guys, we do the right things in the classroom, and then we are, are successful on the court. That is like a accumulation of what our university is like. When the new guys come in, we teach them, you know, these are our ways, these are not only like these, this is how we play basketball, but this is how we represent each other in um, the classroom. We have a mantra called protect the team. Like this is how we stay out of trouble. We don't, you know, we only make the headlines for the right reasons. You know, you want to have a good perception as a university, as a basketball player, as an individual, everybody reaps the benefits when, every, when we look good. Ever since a young age, my dad has always like stressed, like being able to talk to the media, the type of questions that the media is going to ask you before, like after a loss or before the game or, you know, times where you might not necessarily want to talk to anybody, but you have to portray a short, certain image. Perception is everything, especially in this um, social media age that we have now. Like if you even like, half-heartedly make a decision or like it could be portrayed in such a wrong way that you might not even thought of but so as a young age my dad always wanted me to be aware of that he loves people he loves talking in front of crowds and that seems to be his forte he uh, does not shy away no moment too big he will do his background uh, his research when he's speaking to an audience, he speaks at churches, he speaks uh, at fundraisers. Uh, communications is really what he does. I think like the Final Four helped me like become more of like a like an influence as more of like a role model uh, for like young kids from the city of Chicago to look up to and see that you know you can do this, but also off the court you can be of a certain standard as well. Knowing like who I am. Um, a young African-American kid coming from the inner city of Chicago. It's important for me to have my voice heard for so I can be an influencer, I can be a role model to the next uh, young kid that wants to be whatever they want to be. Yeah, I understand that I've had a lot of privilege in my life that necessarily people down the street from me might not necessarily have had. And it's just connecting um, opportunities to people in less fortunate communities within the city of Chicago because I mean, I've, I've, I've come from here, so it's personal to me. It's a big deal with, for me not being a, um, just an athlete. There's a big uh, movement going on right now talking about like LeBron James is more than an athlete, more than, I, want, I believe my contributions to whatever I choose is gonna be much more than just scoring points on a court. One of my biggest goals would be to doing what I can to help less fortunate kids that didn't have the privilege of growing up in the inner city and having a whole bunch of resources that I was able to use and connecting those people to mentors, opportunities and, and things that they can use to, you know, one day hopefully reach their dreams or whatever that might be.